Hello, John Talley here with PartZilla.com. Today I'm going to show you how to change out the front brake pads on our 2007 Suzuki GSXR 1000. Pretty simple to do. I just need to grab a couple of tools, go ahead and lift it up in the air, and then I'll show you how to get it done. All right, this is going to be a skill level one, so it's really going to be very simple. As far as the tools you're going to need, just need a decent you know, flat blade screwdriver, a 5 millimeter Allen, a 12 millimeter socket, a decent you know, ratchet, and then a good torque wrench. Now as far as the parts, if you would reference our parts diagrams, go pick out what you need, get that, get your tools together, then I'll meet you over at the machine and show you how to get it done. All right, let's start by breaking loose these uh, two pins that actually go through the brake pads. A whole lot easier to do it up here when it's actually mounted to the fork. Otherwise, it'd be kind of tough to hold it still. So you don't have to take them all the way out, just break them loose. After that, just a couple of 12 millimeters that actually mount the, uh, the caliper to the fork assembly. With certain manufacturers, they actually have you uh, replace these bolts. These with Suzuki, you can actually reuse them. All right, these are about half worn, but I know from a previous job we did, we had leaking fork seals. So basically this side's not that bad, but that left side, it was almost completely saturated from the, uh, the fork fluid. All right, before we put the new ones in, let's go ahead and compress the pistons back inside the calipers. Since we are replacing these pads, it's really not gonna matter that I'm scarring them up with the screwdriver. All right, that looks like it. Now with them compressed all the way in, we can go ahead and remove those two pins that we broke loose earlier. When you remove the pins, make sure they're not worn too much. Another thing that makes it a little bit easier is to put a little pressure on them because there's actually, a, I guess you could call it a spring on the back side that's trying to push them up. So you push them in a little bit, makes it easier to take the pins out. After that, they just drop straight out. And if you look in here, you can see what uh, the screwdriver did to these. So, yeah, you wouldn't want to do that to a brand new pair. Before we put these on, I just want to show you this line that's cut in here. If you can't see that line, that means it's worn all the way down to that point, And that is the absolute furthest that you'll want to let these pads wear before you replace them. So we've got our pins cleaned up. Let's go ahead and get those new pads in there. Now, just put a little pressure on them against those springs. Slide the pins back in. Get those in just hand tight. Now we want to carefully slide them on the pins. You have to get it from the back side like this. Get them spread all the way open. That's where we can get them back on the rotor. Now we can put our uh, 12 millimeter bolts back in. And now we want to torque those two to 28 foot pounds. Then we want to go back to our two pins and put those to 12 foot pounds. All right, that finishes up this side. Now we just need to do the exact same thing on the, uh, the left side. All right, before we get started on the left side, show you at home oil all over this one from where that was leaking before. So definitely needed to uh, get these replaced. Just like the other side, break these pins loose and then pull out those 12 millimeter bolts. So while we've got it hung down, I'm gonna go ahead and kick out the pads and I'm gonna clean this up a little bit because it is just grimy. I mean, look at these pads, they were so glazed over with oil. Look at that crap. I don't even think they were hardly doing anything at all. See how shiny that looks? It almost filled up that uh, gap in between the two pads. Yuck. This doesn't need to be perfect. I just want to clean it up a little bit. Now granted, I'm spraying this with a little bit of reckless abandon, getting some on my fairings, but trust me, we're about to replace these, but if this was a, a new fairing, I would not be doing this. I'd have it covered up. All right. We've got it cleaned up reasonably well. Let's go ahead and get our pads back in. OK, 
carefully push the pads all the way back. Like I said, you may have to go on the back side here to get them under that spring. Swing her around. And go back on. Once again, we're at 28. And then 12 for the two pins. All right, we've got everything bolted back down and torqued. And there's one more thing you need to do before you go out for a ride. Go ahead and pump these back up. Too many times I've seen people uh, just hop on and go. And guess what? They find they don't have any brakes. Takes it a good five to 10 pulls for it to finally pressure up. All right, guys, with that done, we are finished. Well, listen, if you need any of the parts that we use, why don't you come see us at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, we just want to say thanks for watching.